Hello everybody, this is Pastor Phil with Full of Life Ministries. Today's message is entitled, Embrace Discipline. Proverbs 29 and 1 tells us, People who hate discipline and only get more stubborn, there'll come a day when life tumbles in and they break. But by then, it'll be too late to help them. Discipline is simply applied training and development by instruction and exercise, especially in self-control. A stubborn person who operates outside of self-control creates huge, ginormous problems, not only for that person, but inflicts unnecessary and unwarranted behavior on others. Proverbs 25 verse 28 says, a person without self-control is as defenseless as a city with broken down walls. Operating in discipline keeps you within the boundaries of success, which leads to life. Ah, but the challenges that lie within our world are mostly self-inflicted. And these undisciplined, uncontrolled behaviors prevents us from living in a healthy society. And this affects our daily living. An out of control life is open to all sorts of attacks by the enemy. Just think of self-control as a wall for defense and protection. Maybe you know someone within your family or you work with someone who constantly slacks and makes your job that much more difficult. Or this could be you. <laughs> Maybe you lack that consistent discipline in making it to work on time. Or maybe it has to do with some of your food choices. Whatever the case, discipline has been created by the Lord for us to walk in. The fact of the matter is, rebels will always be bound by refusing to embrace self-discipline. Now, in the book of Galatians, the fifth chapter, it conveys a powerful message. And that message is this. Christ has liberated us to be free. And this freedom is based on a God-given discipline that grows you into the person that God created you to be. And in verse 22 of that same chapter, Galatians chapter 5, it says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and here it is, self-control. Proverbs, the 13th chapter, verse 18 says, that good awaits those who are willing to apply discipline. He or she who ignores discipline comes to poverty and shame. But whoever heeds correction is honored. People of God, your gift that you provide for your friends and your family, for the world, has a direct correlation to the practice of discipline. Now listen, being stubborn may give you the lead. Being a rebel may make you stick out and may gain you attention, but this won't allow you to win the race. Embrace discipline. I promise you, it will never fail you. Today I want you to be encouraged and I want you to continue to keep shining and thank you once again for tuning in to Full of Life Ministries. God bless you.